right, so here we are back at uh, playing another game. Well, recording yeah. another episode. Of the same game. Well, yeah. Ah! Give me the it's martini. delicious. You say that as soon as I get the martini. That's hilarious. Actually, fucking, I think, ooh, I think there's actually a way to kind of cheese the system a little bit in this one. There's whenever, three doors. Whenever you finish this planet, yeah, whenever you finish this planet and you go onto uh, wow. the fucking... Like the stage select screen, just hold on there for a minute. <laughs> I love that whenever Kirby hits somebody, you hear a punch sound. Yeah, eat that. I discovered that uh, if you jump, and while you're jumping, you hit somebody from underneath oh, you it, it counts as an attack uh yes secret spit also shouted out all caps pay your artists they deserve it thank you sir yes and the love yeah pay your artists and respect them jesus christ yes i i can't even describe how much i it shouldn't even be like a thing that people have to deal with like they did you a service therefore pay for said service it's not very complicated. It, yeah. it scares me that there are people out there like, I kid you not, Mad Munchkins experienced one client who said, I can't believe you charged this much for art, this much for artwork. And it's, it's like, well, why did you come to her in the job. first place? Her commission guide is right there for everyone to see. Why would you commission her knowing this? So there's that. And two, it's like, you shouldn't be paid for a hobby. I'm like, this isn't a hobby if it's a full-time job for them. So... Uh, okay, you know what? How about this? Even if it is just a hobby. my mother. If you got nothing nice to say, then keep it to yourself. I mean, even if it is a hobby, you're still doing somebody a service. Therefore, <sighs> you should be paid for doing someone said service. If you're good if at you're something, good at something well, never. Uh, sorry. Exactly. Don't do it for free. Yeah. Like the like the ones that really. Too, that, like, it does require a certain level of entitlement to be like. Oh, you shouldn't be paid for something like this, but those people are always usually entitled and expect things to be handed to them for free, even if it isn't exactly. a hobby. So these people are saying like, oh, well, you should go out and do do something else or uh, something laborious, but no, because, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought for a minute. Um, if you find a way to make a valid employment out of something, you are providing a service. But the people who always argue otherwise, they're always usually the most entitled people who usually ask for entitlements. As opposed to people who actually know the meaning or value of any sort of work, talent, or anything of the sort. These are people who usually don't have any of that. Maybe you might say it's envy. Subconscious envy. Mm. Mistake the word template for buy. Okay, so what, you mean like a backstory? I mean... Eh? It, they're saying whoever asked for like the MLP template for their OC, they said that they mean bio. So like a backstory, is that what you're getting? I, at? I think that's what they mean. I mean, I you I tend to put the two of them together. I mean, a bio means a factual like list of like how old is the character, where did they live, uh, what, what do they, they look do? like. I would think that's a bio, but a backstory is like a full fledged story. I think. I mean, there, there is no, like, concrete this is the way to, you know, write your character in the fucking reference sheet. Like, basically, the bio is pretty much just, you know, what do they do? What do they like? What do they dislike? Like, you don't even have to put all that. Just, you know, write up where they came from. How they were born. Were they fucking born into a rich family or a poor family? It's like, it's it's really just up to you at that point yeah. as to what you want, what you want them to do, what you want them to be like, and, and to your character. So, I know some people complain that Lady Bliss looks nothing like her parents. Why? And should I'm it? like, well, the thing is, is that she has bits and pieces of what her parents have, and a lot of the stuff she's inherited from her grandparents. Like, I did create an OC for my grandfather, who's no longer, or who, he, he passed away in 2013. Um, but I actually inherit a lot of my uh, processing disorders and my hearing issues from him. 
Hence why uh, I think I called him Fire Bliss or something. <laughs> yeah. Or I'll have to look it up again. But yeah, he um, he had the long tail and the slightly bigger ears. His design was kind of a creamy brown or milk chocolate brown color. And he had orange fiery stripes in his mane and his tail. And I also had him be a Wonderbolt recruit. He was never a full-fledged Wonderbolt. He was more like a backup. And the reason why I made him that way is because uh, in real life, he wanted to be a World War II uh, fighter pilot, like his brother. But they never... They, they let him fly, but he never officially served as a Air Force pilot because um, he had a he had that disability with his arms. And so hence, in his backstory I made up for him, he was a Wonderbolt recruit, but he never became a full-fledged Wonderbolt because of his tail and big ears. The Wonderbolts felt that that was kind of a handicap for him. Long oh. tail getting, you know, like, caught up in stuff, you know? <laughs> I I would argue that you could probably you, you could probably argue that the tail would actually be beneficial because you could probably use it as more like it, it would have more leverage when it came to using it as a rudder for steering. But yeah. for sure, yeah. But that, that, the, that, the ears and the tail, you know. That's kind of why I have my character's tail like as stiff as it is because he kind of uses it in the air, and that's why it's really swept back. Yeah. Because he's always airborne, so... I also have to point out where all the colors Bliss inherits from. They're all coming from her parents and grandparents. Get like, she get inherited up, the get pink. Up. She inherited the pink and the orange from her mom and dad. Some of the, the purple violets from her grandmother. I have not created OCs of my father's parents, though. Because I honestly do not have good go. bonds with my dad's side. I do have ideas of what they look like, but I never made them because, again, I am not very close to my father's side of the family. Also, Goldie, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but uh, whenever you have the bomb, if you hold B or whatever you have set to the attack button before you throw it, you'll aim it so you can throw it up higher and shit. Oh. Also, somewhere on this map, um, d don't go to a new planet just yet unless you already did, in which case it's whatever. Um... Yeah, look around this map, like, one of those stars. Because one of those stars should, uh, you should be able to actually go to. I think it's down below, though. Like, that greenish one? Hang on, I, I think just it's that it. one. Ah, yeah, got be one song again from Smash Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this star is actually how you kind of oh, cheat the bastard. system. This star right here is how you actually kind of cheese the system a little bit in Milky Way Wishes because this star has the the actual no shit copy ability where you're actually able to copy people's powers. So that way you don't have to rely on the copy essence deluxe if you don't have that one yet. So God, that's everything is like black what the hell i'm actually oh. gonna make euphoria a lot bigger in this poster what design that she normally would be Ooh, stand out more. yeah i wanted to stand out more i i got inspired okay before i say before i go on i got heavily inspired by Luximus rps of steven universe with stefani <laughs> fucking bastards she had steve and and stephanie is that her name uh, they were in the foreground, and then you had Stefani in the background in like a battle stance, and I just absolutely oh, loved bitch. it. I'm like, okay, I am inspired for Euphoria now. <laughs> oh yeah, no, Lux is just whew, so good. Mm -hmm. I love, I love her work. Uh, yeah, no, she's really talented. She, she denies it all the time, kind of like somebody else. I fucking know. But yeah. Who, who, who you mean? Hint, hint. Yeah. No, who do you mean? Who do you mean? I don't know who you're talking about. Oh my fucking god. Don't play these <laughs> games with me, woman. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm... Oh my god. I'm gonna string <laughs> you up by your tail and hang you back. 
<laughs> You'll break my tail if you do that. You're the one that's always saying you're gonna use your tail to hang yourself, so don't blame me. <laughs> oh, oh God. God. <laughs> well, is that wrong? <laughs> Uh, what the th oh what a fucking trollish move right there wow what a dick what an asshole oh yeah no that part yeah that that's happened what to me oh there i made it out huzzah yeah. Now, what do I? What can I use to write? You can literally write it down on a piece of paper if you wanted to. Like, there is no, there is no reason uh, to. Th th there's no reason that you can't use really anything at your disposal if you want to write something down. Hell, you can use Notepad on Windows if you wanted to. Hmm? Oh, they were saying, what do I use to write down my? OC's backstory, I'm like, you can use literally anything. <laughs> yeah, li li use literally anything as long as you can keep track of it. You, I you prefer Google inscribe. Docs because it will always be on the internet for no. me to find, but I also could do a Word document or a note script. You or can heck, inscribe it on a stone is. tablet oh, if you God. want to. I've actually heard of people literally take their cell phone and record their thoughts so they won't forget. Yeah, that's actually a- oh, you got the crash ability, that's what it was. Yeah, but, uh... Yeah, that, that actually is a thing now with most modern phones. They have the shit where they have a speech to text, so you can literally just say what you're thinking and the phone will write it down for you. Yeah. On a completely unrelated note that's made writing essays way easier because all you have to do is talk to yourself like you're being interviewed, and then what you know it, 30 minutes later, it's fucking done. <laughs> Ask Bliss, what do you think of Pegacorns? Honestly, I don't get them. I... My whole thing on the Pegacorn is, like, it's... It, it, it's a discount alicorn, basically. It's, it's <laughs> trying to get the qualities of an alicorn without any of the hate, and I'm just like, why not just say you're an alicorn? Just, why Shit. not just... I mean, some people say, because I'm not part Earth Pony, I'm only Unicorn and Pegasus, and I want oh to display God, both you have traits. four yeah. fucking legs. There you go. You're part Earth Pony. I, I say, I say, you're gonna. I, what I say to those who want to be Pegacorn so they can avoid the Alicorn hatred, you're gonna get it anyway. There you go. Yeah. In, in fact, you're probably gonna get it more so because people are gonna have the same mindset. It's like, yeah, you're trying to be an Alicorn without any of the bad shit that comes with yeah, it. Yeah, it's people calling you out on it. You got it. Uh, at, but, 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 I have to say this. At the end of the day, if that's what you really want to do, accept the consequences of what you may or may not get, and oh. Own up to it, I guess. And here's here's the other thing. I've heard people that are like, oh, well, you know, Pegacorn used to be an actual MLP term before Alicorns. Like, yeah, you know what Pegacorns used to be? They they were the fucking placeholder names for Alicorns. Whoa. Whoa. Did Pegacorn I just blow your was mind? a G1 thing back in the day, sure. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that no. doesn't change the topic. <laughs> it, it doesn't change the fact that that's clearly what it is like yeah pegacorn was the placeholder name for an alicorn so people saying oh well that's what it used to be an actual name is irrelevant because that name meant the same shit i just say just own up to your character design if that's what you want to call it then more power to you there is there really shouldn't be any right or wrong way to describe your character whether it be species name or aspects but just be just be self-aware too yeah, I mean, I personally don't really have an issue with Alicorn characters themselves. Like, I, like Mad Munchkin did a did a video on it that basically explained my thought process on the whole shit. Where uh -huh. it was, uh, it was uh, why I dislike red and black OCs. But it was basically saying uh, why I dislike red and black edgy Alicorn OCs that are fucking somehow the son of Discord and Luna and all kinds of fucking crazy bullshit like that. Uh... It's, it's basically the type of character that has no weakness in their super awesome, too edgy for you, fucking exclamation point one 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 like get off man. that type of shit. And that's that's basically the type of Alicorn OCs that have 
well, unfortunately, become like the stereotype where every Alicornosi is this perfect godlike being that is the son of these or daughter of these two super powerful characters to justify their fucking to justify how fucking broken they are and shit like I'm, that. I'm, I'm trying really hard not to bring up this certain individual. Yeah. That did oh, this God. thing with Aeon's character and my character, Thunderblight, and all this. <laughs> uh, you probably well, already know who I'm thinking of. Yeah, let's let's not. I, I might actually need a refresher, so if either one of you <laughs> want to oh PN God. me that, because I'm pretty sure it's. I'm pretty sure I know what you're talking about, but I'm like. Still kind of well, hazy on the exact in, details. In my, in my magic lesson with Kichi, uh, we kind of slapped at it a little bit. I, okay. Um, oh my god, he's slightly blish. Can you create my Oshi? I will oh, have to not bother you again because I take full responsibility for his behavior. She, I'm the demon pony that created him. Oh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. That, that, that's an other thing that I fucking despise <laughs> is people that shamelessly incorporate other OCs into their backstory to bolster their own. Especially when they're literally who's. Like, they're, they're, they're people that nobody fucking knows and so like you're like oh yeah i'm actually the fucking the the i'm actually the fucking the creator of aeon of dreams like no, no the i'm, the, re I'm the reason i'm the reason why thunder blakes just because i told aeon to create her that's yeah like people that do that type of shit that's that that is one no, of the ways I would say you absolutely do not write a character no yeah you don't do that but the thing he was talking about was more like he he was claiming to be my magic teacher or something. Mm -hmm. Some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, your it was something, or something. yeah, it was something really cringy. Really, really cringy. Um, oh, absolutely. Especially considering uh, in a later special, uh, I suppose I can tease this, you're actually going to see who Aeon's magic teacher is. I later. already know. <laughs> yeah, you already know. Yeah, but fucking. <laughs> see, like, th there's a difference between, like, having a. Like, having a backstory that intertwines with another character, like, you know the person and you both decided, oh, yeah, no, our characters uh, totally met up before and they did fucking, you know, and that's why they're able to do this, this, and this together and whatever, as opposed to being like, oh, yeah, my, my OC is, like, the fucking master of said character and therefore I dictated everything that they did and therefore I am responsible for every, like, <laughs> you don't do that, man. Yeah, but so you have the 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 do not example, but how about the do? Yes, do this. And I have a a, a great example. I think all of you guys know this guy. Um, hmm. His OC is called Cinder. Oh fucking yeah! No fucking quill name. Yeah no. Quill, I love quill his fucking, name. Yeah. I love. I love that guy. He did oh, do it properly. Did. He so did it properly. He... So let me explain what this guy did. So he has a pygmy deer. OC, but it's not really a pick me deer. It's more like a he's more like a um a, a wisp. Anyway, um, you guys check out his comics. I had a link in the. Oh yeah, they're they're just. Um, but, so basically, this adorable little deer has is getting chased by these horrible nightmare creatures, and he bumps into Aeon, and his character more or less adopts Aeon as his mother. And it's just the most adorablest thing ever. And, and it, the, it really the, is. The thing he thinks, about it, he thinks Ty and Daga is his father because he's also a deer. <laughs> he thinks Trampy is his uncle because he's cool and took him out, took him out for a night with shades and it's scary movies and candy. He he he's the cool uncle. He's and, the and radical Bliss is, uncle. Bliss is just smitten by how adorable this little guy is, and she wants to babysit him so bad, so she keeps trying to find ways to babysit him. <laughs> like, yeah, please, please, can I babysit him, please? He's like, I'm sorry, dearie. I'm already covered. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it, it's like, see, and the reason that this works and that the other one doesn't is because he's not like, oh, fucking, yeah, I'm, I'm responsible for everything that this character did. He's just, they met up and they're just like, oh, yeah, I'm building a rapport with this character. You know, I, I, I'm building, like, you know, a relationship with this character. And when I say relationship, I don't mean Obviously, I don't mean like a romantic one. I mean like you know a fucking. No, this character, what's the, what, this character what's the word? works alongside our characters without interruption. 
Exactly. Well, he and works alongside them, true. tries to get them accurate, but he's not trying to... There's he's no... not trying to mold them into his needs. He's yeah. going yeah. for what he knows. Like, he's basically saying, here's my character, here's his behavior, and here's how I, here's how I interpret the personalities, so... And he tried to do it in earnest. He interprets and... the personalities in earnest. So he sees, okay, what would happen if these two interact? But he's not doing it to self-aggrandize his own ego. Exactly. It's really, all it is, it's, it's just cute. It's just... He's... It's... Yeah, no, like, the it's thing so is... Cute. <laughs> Like, so, so the big key difference is, is he's integrating his character into their backstories and not the other way around. Okay, I'm gonna link his DeviantArt so y'all can go check it out yourself. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely go and check this dude out. He's just, oh, God, it's Yeah, You're, you're gonna cute. fall in love with this character really quick. I'm just it is, I'm warning you now. <laughs> it is impossible to not love this character. It's like, oh, well, God. Can I also mention something else? Is that, like, Cinder is also a fully realized character that's more... Ex even though he doesn't have any real dialogue, he's more very expressive. But he has a character with a personality that has, like, set traits, so the personality is well fleshed out and well balanced. That, that also helps. That's the thing, is that, like, I, I typically adore characters that don't speak because... That that way, the artist typically has to convey their emotion completely through facial expressions, and because of that, the facial expressions, whatever they're trying, whatever feeling they're trying to invoke, they usually have to get on the spot, and that's why you can because again, this character is mute, so you can't necessarily flush them out through dialogue. You have to show what they're thinking purely by body language alone. So. I I should also point out his art style is all traditional. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah. It's yeah, and it's really clean too. So. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I I think I think the moment I I fell in love with this character was when he basically started calling Aeon Mama. Oh God, don't even get me started. The moment he started calling Aeon Mama, I, I melted. <laughs> or um, when time it shows time to get like doing his signing out for a video, it's like, and that's the end of the, the and then he's. Cinder just walked onto his set, he looks down, he's like, Papa? And then Tyne's like, when did I sleep with that? Here's a face that just says, when did I sleep with that lady? <laughs> did I wear protection? I think about my, my, one of my favorite parts of this comic is when Tyne Dog is just getting some well-deserved uh, relaxation, he's at the spa, and then Aeon pops in with Cinder, he's like, hey, it's your turn. <laughs> hey, it's your turn to babysit, uh, yeah, I gotta go. Um, bye. <laughs> and, and, it's, and it's not like, uh, it's not like uh, you were dumping Cinder on him. It was more like uh, you just assumed he was the father and, and you had places to be. So it's like, Hey, you need, you need to like take care of him right now. I got, I got things, I got things to do. So yeah, just, just, yeah. <laughs> I just Relatable. love that part. And, and Ty Dog is like, wait, he's not mine. <laughs> he is Cinder, not Cinder my Cinder was just like. Cinder meanwhile was just like, I think he was like hugging him or something. Yes, his little tail was wagging. He was calling him Papa. Oh, my heart. Meanwhile, Bliss is just one of those. She's like, I just want to babysit him. Please, can I babysit him? Let's see, there's two there. And what else? It's like, I'm actually getting a little jealous now because Aeon and... and, and transmuter getting all the glory ha hanging out with Cinder. <laughs> hmm. So I'm I'm just being focused on the game. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Oh god. Yeah, we're, I, we're gloating over this little pick me dare, sorry. I am yeah, no, I, I I actually forgot about him for a little bit so you brought him up. I'm like, oh how many comics oh there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's got a lot of comics. Um but he's also like Anthony C. He doesn't dish out a lot of work, but when he does, it's pure gold. Yeah. I I, I just mm. fuck. He's beautiful. <laughs> the timing. There we go, and kaboom. Ain't that right, Bliss? Kaboom. Okay, I just found one of his comics. I really love this one. It's with Sapphire. 
Do you ever feel like someone here might be a bad influence on him? Says Sapphire. Fuck! I haven't <laughs> thought about it. Why? Says Lightning Bliss. Um, it's probably nothing. Cinder's on the floor going, Wah! Like he's trying to cast a spell. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. <laughs> what is he trying to conjure up a spell? Yes, he's trying to conjure a spell on these on these builder blocks. It's adorable. Uh... It's like, oh my god, he is like his mama. <laughs> Mother. Oh, what's this one? I don't think I've seen this one. It's a deer version of you. Bula, bula, squeak. Oh, it's Slender Pony, and he's got Cinder! Oh no! Oof. Oh my god. Mama! Hang on, doesn't look too thrilled. Take Cinder away. I'll be keeping an eye on you, he says to Slender Pony. And Slender Pony's terrified! I love it! <laughs> so, how about that that Slender movie? Nope. Haven't seen it. It's, nope. I am not gonna go see that movie. It looks so stupid. Okay, this okay. I don't know if you've seen this comic, A.O., but you basically scared Slender Pony so bad that you made him his playmate. Disgusting. Oh. You made Slender Pony a playmate for Cinder. It's oh, horrible. I, oh my god. Forgot if, I, forgot if I read that or not. Uh, I'll, I'll drop it in there. I'll I drop found it in one there. even better. Aha! Fuck! <laughs> It's the last panel that fucking kills me. Oh, I've seen this one. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Eat your vegetables, mortal. <laughs> you yeah, must consume the them to become strong. This is one of the comics that's so frustrating for my character. It's like, I wanted to babysit him. <laughs> you took and lock the door when you leave. And don't touch anything. Disgusted. Why would Aeon summon a demon for this? A babysitting devil. I think I've seen everything now. Ow. But I wanted to take care of him! Can a devil take care of a baby? Eat your vegetables! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We're obsessed. I'm sorry. It's Damn too it. fucking cute. Oh, pumpkin cinder's best cinder. Yeah. Oh, what's this one? Oh, it's the one when he's scared of the Chris of Santa Claus. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's adorable. It's too cute. Oh, oh. You guys are talking about this, 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 whatever the hell this is. I have, I'm in like completely in the dark about it. Oh, oh, you need to see. You gotta, you gotta read them, dude. They're beautiful. Yeah, whenever whenever you cut for the next episode, oh, you gotta you gotta look at them. Oh, okay, God. pro the prologue comic is my favorite so far because this is where Bliss finally gets to want to babysit, and then of course something goes wrong. I might need a babysitter for a few days. I wonder if you'd be free for the job. Yes, absolutely. I'll have to go pick him up from Ty and Dog's channel first. Some father son time does do them both some good. Jesus. Didn't Ty say they weren't related? Aeon has to smirk. <laughs> he insists. Alright, what's with the look? Just thinking of the small joys of life. <laughs> <laughs> that's something... Okay, that's something Peter would say. Ty Ty, are you in here? Oh, hi. Welcome. What can I do for you guys? Aw, you look happy. Did you have a good day? You could say that. So, Aeon said I could watch Cinder for a while. You don't mind, do you? Um, no. Of course I don't mind. Yay! So where is he? Dearie, Mama's here. Guys, what are you doing? The little one's over at Aeon's channel, isn't he? <gasps> Aeon very, very bluntly. I sent him here with an imp over two hours ago. What are you talking about? I haven't seen him since that portal incident. Oh. And I was like, uh oh. Bliss is like, oh no! I'll go get Twink! I'll look at the cafe. I'm tracking down that imp. 
Meanwhile, oh, Transmute, bastard. Cinder, and the Imp are chilling out in the park <laughs> drinking soda. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> oh, Delicious indeed. <laughs> Did Give just, me a beer. Did I just walk into the stage? Say what? Is there a door that just repeats itself? Um, uh, yes. There uh, are a few doors that are like trick doors. You have to find the right one. Ah, uh, that is such a dick move. I hate those. Yeah. No, um, okay. Changing the topic for a bit. You guys seen Game Grumps where uh, they're playing uh, the new Super Mario Brothers stages? Um, uh, I'm no. sorry, the Mario Maker stages, excuse me. Okay, nope. okay, so, um, there was a, um, damn it, come on. Come on, yo-yo, there we go. No, uh, there were, well, like, one of the first stages they played, it was from, um, I forgot his name, Ross. And he developed one that he named, he nicknames it Easy. And the stages themselves are filled with so many hidden blocks. And he said it to where whenever they're hit it, uh, they're open, they have laughing voices. So the, the stage is literally laughing at you over thinking about how easy you think it is. One of the... If you thought... Yeah, no, later in, the, later in the stage, there's a door you enter and it knocks you back to the beginning of the stage. And Dan was so fucking pissed about that. Like, he was stating that, oh my god, I am going to kill Ross. It's like, Ross, I'm going to strangle you. Yeah, Nick knows what I'm talking about. It is such a cock tease. <laughs> Why didn't you just tell us you wanted to babysit Transmute? Excuse me? I, who has lived for countless of centuries, I command the forces of darkness. I am the Night Walker, the Night Terror, a true vampire, and I do not baby Uncle. Did, <laughs> did you hear that? He called you uncle! That's so cute. They grow up so fast. <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm dead. I I'm hooked. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, back to the stream. <laughs> I need to stop looking at it. <laughs> yeah, this is something I'll have to take a look at. Um, wow, I'm over 30 minutes in. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this one and call this an episode. I'm gonna go take a look at these uh, these comics you guys were talking about the whole time. Yeah, I drop we dropped some links in the general chat for you. Hashtag advertising. <laughs>